Well, we're live again. But you didn't think I was gonna make it, did you? I thought a lot about going over there after that bull. I can still see him, he's in a really bad position. <clears throat> I mean, if somebody wanted to ruin him, it'd be super easy. It's not quite what I'm after. So, I've got my uh, elk that are down the bottom. All of them accounted for. Still no bull. So, I'm just chillaxing and uh, try to go up high and get over a saddle to where I could bugle down to another basin. And it didn't go well for me because I've got, uh, I don't know, there's at least seven or eight elk up in there. So I can't really get, uh, can't get around to look at him either. The wind's whipping pretty bad. Using my bow as a uh, tripod here. There we go. The wind's, uh, it's just wrecking left, right, up, down, doesn't really matter. I was hoping the sun would pop out so I got a little better wind, but it's not working out for me. So, I've changed clothes like five different times because it's rained and snowed and rained and snowed and rained and sunny and rained. That's the way it goes. So, I'm still stuck at a standstill, although most of the elk have just gotten up. Uh, two o'clock, obviously, 2.05. And uh, yesterday is when I started hearing bugling at two o'clock. So, it's really weird. There's a lot of cows here for some reason, and not very many bulls. There's a couple spikes um, I found up top, so I'm hoping there's a good one up top there somewhere. Osman, John Vazi joined. Love that guy. So, I'm uh, I think I'm gonna just hang out here for just a little bit more and watch and see what these bulls are doing or this, these elk are doing. And my one bull over there sitting underneath a tree, <clears throat> begging to get shot. I just can't do it. Not yet. Um, it's not quite good enough. Not as good as the ones I shot. One I shot last year, but oh well. So. Still astounded by the fact I can get any kind of signal at all. I'm sure you can't see him. I wish I could. Maybe I'll try. There's no way. Oh, that thing zooms in like crazy. There he is, right there in about the center of the screen, right below that pine tree. Wish I could hold the city here for you. But this is the kind of country I'm hunting right now. It's all pretty much open. There's some dark timber in behind me and a couple little sloughs. That's it. So, put my stand back together there. It's a pretty good bow, except for, oh, yeah, it does make a pretty decent tripod. So, I'm gonna, um, like I said, I'm just gonna chillax a little bit and watch them move around and see what they're doing. and. If they're up and moving, and the other big group's up and moving down below me, my ones up top ought to be moving. I did have about seven cows come through while I was sitting here, and I uh, walked about 15 yards from me. <clears throat> Unfortunately, my phone was so cold I couldn't get it to turn on, actually turned on and shut back off. Would have been kind of cool footage, so. Oz, man. <laughs> Favorite. All right, well, hopefully my next update will be a big dead bull somewhere. I don't think I'm gonna mess with that guy over there. I, <clears throat> it's just not what I came for, so. Onward and upward, literally. Peace out, guys.